guys, it's Anne. Welcome to the channel. Today we're going to take a look in on Worm Bin 101. Now, I have not looked in on this bin in a video for quite some time. I think it just put some, maybe, I don't know, threw some food in there a while back. But I think it's time to take a look in on them and see what they're doing. Check out the moisture. Now this worm bin 101 has been the ones where I have been discussing with people who are brand new worm farmers about some of the pitfalls that you make when you first start out. And even though the series doesn't do very well, I think it's important to keep this bin going for the individuals that do need it. So I am going to look through here and see what we've got. Now this bin was just started with my normal prepared bedding and is being fed kitchen scraps and there's about a pound of my red wiggler blue worm european nightcrawler mix in here so looking at the bin the moisture looks really good i must have fed some kind of bread or something just because of the color of the mold over here but other than that which is you know it's dried out the worms can't really get at it so other than that i don't really see anything in here for them to eat and grow their population on and that is one of the things that, although I do some extreme feedings and I do do a lot of um, forbidden foods, etc., when you're new to worm farming is not the time to think you're going to go and do all of this experimentation. So when you're first starting with worm bins, probably for the first six months, maybe even the first year. Okay, I don't know if these are good or bad, so I'm getting rid of it. Um... And that's, a, you know, that's a whole other story. But when you're first doing a worm bin, you're waiting for that mic microbe population to build up. And that's really what's going to help you with a lot of that forbidden food. So what you want to do is, before you start dumping a whole box of oranges in there or something, you know, this is a very small bin. This is a bus bin like they would use at a restaurant. This is only 24 inches by, you know, internal diameter of 15 inches on this bin and it is only you know six inches deep so you, you really shouldn't do a whole lot of craziness in a bin this small with this few of worms and a lot of people this is how you start you don't want to throw a couple hundred dollars in a you know a couple pounds of worms if you're you know when you're first starting out you want to start out with you know somebody gave you a handful of worms or you're gonna buy a half a pound of worms and that's how you start and they do not eat a pound of, uh, bot, you know, food per pound of body weight of worms, like it says in many of the different literatures. Um, I find that this one pound of worms will probably eat more along the lines of one pound of food per week, if I'm lucky, during the uh, spring and summer and fall less during the winter when it's colder in the basement. It's still 66 degrees Fahrenheit in here, so that it still is pretty cool down here. So we've evaluated the bin, and no, the fluffing is not entirely necessary, but this is in an artificial environment. And one of the things about artificial environments is, well, they're artificial. If these worms were living in a compost pile outside, you know, there'd be drainage going into the ground and whatnot. But this bin does not have holes in the bottom. So I have to keep an eye on the moisture and keep it nice and even. So that is why I do what I call fluffing, which is to completely turn over the bin and make sure that there is no place inside this bin that has become too wet or um, too dry for that matter and make sure everything is homogenous. If I didn't do that evaluation, something bad could happen and I wouldn't even know. Uh, because again, this is an artificial environment and the worms aren't in their, you know, normal pile of leaves, you know, sitting up against your garage. Okay, so these guys do need a feeding though. So I'm going to dig a little bit of a pit here and we're going to give them some food. Okay, I have a fish scale in the basement that I oftentimes use to, uh, you know, see how many pounds of worms I have. But I'm going to take this uh, bag of food here and I'm going to weigh it to kind of give you an idea of what kitchen scraps weigh. Kind of tilt it up a little. Oops. Okay, so this three quarters full gallon bag weighs under a pound. So since this bag of food weighs under a pound, 
I can probably feed most of that to this bin. There's going to be some so slow food in here. So you've got your banana peels and your potato peels, tea, avocado. So a lot of this stuff is going to take time to break down. They might get on the inside of the b banana right away. That could be fast food. But you're looking at very slow food for the fresh, not frozen, banana peel or potato peels. So I'm going to put that down. And then I do use a grit source from time to time. This is dolomite powder. It's just what I have in reach right now. I often use eggshell. This is, uh, I know I have a no grit bin, but that's an experiment, and I don't run all of my bins that way. So when I run that no grit experiment, that is not because I'm saying this is the way to do it. I'm seeing how much do they really need. Um, so in, the, in this bin, I am definitely going to be putting grit on every other, fe every other feeding. Um, so basically, you know, this is a reasonably new bin. It was started last fall, and it has not built up the grit. As you know, they eat it, it goes in, it comes back out, and then they eat it again. So that's all we want to do with that. Now let me get them some bedding as well. Now this is a handful of my prepared bedding. It's been sitting for a couple of weeks. And as you, I don't know if you can tell, but this is shredded paper, shredded cardboard. There's actually some eggshell in here. There's also coconut coir, and um, I do oftentimes put in kelp meal as a way to get the microbes started a little bit. But then I'm going to take their old castings, and I'm going to cover that back up. If you like the, uh, the starter series, or if you know somebody that would, um, I have a whole playlist that I will put right over here. If you want to see the beginning of the bin, I can put that video right over here. If you like this video, give it a muddy thumbs up. If you're not a member of my family, click that subscribe button. And if you want to know what I'm doing when I'm doing it, ring that bell icon. All right, guys, thanks for hanging out with me and my worms, and everybody, have a good day.